A giant plant that can cause blindness simply by touching its sap has been spotted in Michigan. Here's what you need to know about hogweed. At first glance, this plant seems almost majestic, but what many people don't know is that this monstrous plant can cause severe damage to both your skin and vision. Hogweed is a giant plant reaching nearly 12 feet tall, and although the plant is not commonly spotted in Michigan, in recent weeks it has been discovered in areas near Jackson and Lansing. Dan Farmer, a naturalist from the Shadbush Nature Center, says hogweed is part of a large family of plants that inhabit Michigan. And while he has never come in contact with hogweed, he has been exposed to a similar weed known as wild parsnip. I used to pull it. It was a weed in a prairie area I was managing, and we were looking for native plants, so we saw it and we pulled it. And I pulled it once or twice and had no ill effects, and then one day, I pulled it and got terrible blisters, huge unsightly blisters. What makes these plants so poisonous are their phytophototoxic sap that when touched by your skin and exposed to sunlight can cause sores and rashes. It has a chemical which is activated by sunlight. So the reason I hadn't gotten the reaction before was I had worked on cloudy days. But when I pulled it and got the sap on my hands and on my arms, on a sunny day, it reacted. Plants that do that are known as phytophototoxins and they can be nasty. Apparently hogweed can be worse than this. Exactly how bad, I'm not certain, but I would guess that it depends on the individual. And his advice is simple. Anytime you find out a plant has toxic reactions worse than poison ivy, different but worse, you want to be especially careful. If possible, avoid these plants altogether. Any plant you see that's a more or less a big flat topped cluster of flowers, whitish or even yellowish, you should probably avoid or use gloves and maybe, maybe some eye covering now too. If you believe you have spotted a hogweed bush, you should contact the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. For Shelby This Week, I'm Katie Shimatero.